My name is Eddie Jackson Jr. And this is Pains of Death, Part 2. This is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crimes. I have suffered from the pains of death as much as anyone on this earth. My Uncle Lodge died from a cocaine overdose. That's the pains of death. My Uncle Devil got his head blown off, as I said originally. That's the pains of death. My father dies in federal penitentiary with 60 years for a non-violent crime. That is the pains of death. Truly, that is the pain of death. That pays the cost more than anyone. More than anyone. And to add to the pain of death, the very person who walks you out of him being sentenced to 60 years. Brother Demetrius Holloway, one of the closest persons to me on this earth at that time, he got killed. It's things his wife knew I'm sure I did not know. And there are things I knew I'm sure his wife did not know. At that time, he was, he was my big brother and the one I was at that time closest to than anybody at that time. And to see him killed at the Broadway, at the checkout counter, I'm on my way to see this brother at the same time. I get called. My brother, Anthony Richardson, the brother you going to see, man, they say he didn't got killed at the Broadway. That is the pain of death. That's a motherfucker I do 20 years for, and I'm sure it would do the same for me. That's a motherfucker I made a pact with. Bro, whatever I get busted with, I'm a man. Whatever you get busted with, you a man. We'll do life for one another. That's a do or die motherfucker in my life for real. And to see him get killed and hear him get killed, that is truly the pains of death. Tell me how deep do they really go? I just gave them to you. Tell me if my pain and my hurt ain't as deep as any, any for what I've lost to this game in this life. This is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crimes, saying that's the pains of death, and that might be the cost you pay in this game. It's a dark side to it. All of it ain't glamour and glitz and riches and fames. Some of it is death and killing and destruction. So when you get into it, be knowing all you looking for might not turn out the way you think it is. Oh, I'm going to be rich and famous and wear jewelry and diamonds and all of this shit. It might not turn out like that for you. So I warn all my viewers and I give you all the real stories. I've been indicted. I ain't never snitched or told on anyone in my life. And I never would. And any of these stories that I sit here and tell you now is every person in them is dead. There is not one person living. So tell me who's going to get in trouble for him. When you all hear a story about Al Capone, Frank Nitti, Doc Holliday, all these famous white people, I never hear nobody saying, hey, what is Eddie doing? I'm telling stories of brothers that had good lives and did some goddamn things too. If you want to hear the story, listen to it. And if you don't, simply change the motherfucking channel. That's very easy to do. Push the goddamn screen. I appreciate you if you listen at my stories, and I thank you for that. But I give it to you real. I ain't never been a snitch, and I'm not one now. 
Snitches do not run from fake motherfuckers. Fake motherfuckers run from the real. The real don't never run from a snitch motherfucker. Because it's one thing I've been taught in this goddamn life. I'd rather die as a real soldier than die as a goddamn stinking ass snitch standing up there telling on some goddamn body. So I done that motherfucking real. I ain't never told throughout all the goddamn cases I've been through in my fucking life, which is plenty of them. And I ain't never said anything, dropped a dime, called the police on a motherfucker ever. And I never would, because that's not the game. If you respect the motherfucking game you in, give it that. It's like Mike Tyson said, the game been too good to me. I'm going to retire because I can't. Same thing here. The game been too motherfucking good to me. I ain't got time to get caught, get in trouble, and get the telling on no motherfucking body. Or wind up like my father or worse, dying in penitentiary. So it's a new way now. So if a motherfucker asks what I'm trying to do, here's what I'm trying to do. So y'all don't have to ask anybody what Eddie Baby is trying to do. Eddie Baby is trying to make it to Hollywood. Just like everybody else, telling stories and telling how it was and snitching on nobody because no motherfucker will ever tell you Eddie Jackson Jr. snitched on him because it ain't one to tell you. I've been the motherfuckers worrying about motherfuckers snitching on me. I ain't had the luxury of snitching on motherfuckers. Know that. So what Eddie Baby is doing is trying to make him some money and go to Hollywood. And for everybody, all these player haters who keep, what any bit, what he doing, who he tell, who am I telling on? Name me one person that's alive I told on. Name me one. Everybody I ever told a story on is dead. And I say to you all again, if you're going to condemn me, everybody who ever talked about Frank Nitty, Al Capone, the Untouchables, and all that shit, all them dead and all the things they done, Maya Lansky, Hyman Roth, all the rest, Buzzy Siegel. Now, if I talk about Eddie Jackson, Demetrius Holloway, and the things they did, I'm the wrongest motherfucker in the world. But as long as them white folks tell about what them hunkies did, it's all right. I happen to see it in a different light, and I'm going to tell it the way I see it, regardless to who like it or who don't like it. And it's just that simple. This is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real, true street crimes. I would never hurt anybody dear to me. Demetrius has done wonderful things in his life for me and my family. And I would never do anything because that's my motherfucking man. I go to ride and die with that man. Now what the fuck I look like I'm going to hurt his wife, kids, or anybody else connected with him. I would never do that. Ever. So that's just what I have to say and telling it like it really is. That was my motherfucking man. I rolled with him for as far as I'm concerned when he got out of jail. He got out about the same time my father went. Two years after that, for the next six till he got killed, I rolled with him. Put him to sleep, knew where he was, called him, knew any time I could catch him. So I was crushed and hurt by his death than probably most people. The only one I say probably was hurt more than me would be his mother, wife, and son. Nobody else. I can guarantee you that shit. I saw my father shed tears over that man. He was crushed over Demetrius' death and killing. This is Eddie Jackson Jr., Real True Street Crimes, and I'm out. Subscribe, share, and like, and thank you very much to everybody who takes time to listen at these stories of real black men who lived in their day. Their day is gone now. They no longer with us, but they had a ball while they were here. And they did live and walk on water just like these white folks you hear these stories about. We had the millions of dollars and did it too. And that's all I'm saying. This is real true street crime. Eddie Jackson Jr. And I'm out saying subscribe, like, and share. Peace and love. I'm out.